Hello everyone, this is Tanaka from Hair and Make Zen. Today, I'd like to introduce you to how to make a roll-up hairdo that's simple and neat. This kind of roll-up hairstyle ends up looking similar to the Gibson Tuck hairstyle, but it's a style that allows you to create more roundness, volume, and width. I'm especially excited to introduce an easy way to create the silhouette behind the ears that you can see from the front. So please use this as a reference. All right, let's take a look at the procedure. I'll start off by showing you the blocking. The first one will start off from the bangs. The depth is around three fingers. It's about four to five centimeters. We'll start from around this area and zigzag diagonally down towards the ear point to create a soft line to divide the hair on the sides. We'll do the same thing on the other side, creating a soft line in a zigzag manner to divide the hair. Now, about the back area. As for the back, connect a line from this ear point that borders the back and side area all the way to the hollow area of the nape, loosely to divide the hair into the upper and lower part. After dividing, use duckbill clips to hold the hair like this. Climb up from the ear points and create a diagonal line from the crown area of the head all the way to the hollow area of the nape to divide the center and back into three parts. Comb the center area of the hair neatly and use a duckbill clip to hold the hair at the point where you want to tie it. Next, brush the remaining hair from the backside neatly. Divide into two parts and rope braid aiming towards the center. Once you braid past the center, start pulling on the hair and hold it down at the center with a duckbill clip. Do the same thing on the backside. Divide the hair into two sections and rope braid towards the center. Take both bundles of hair from both sides and remove the duckbill clip holding down the hair at the center and tie the rope braided hair as closely as possible to the scalp. While you're working on this, pull the rope braids bit by bit. Just like this, pull on the hair from the rope braid and spray to control the texture. Next, we'll continue on to the center part. Again, for this part, we'll pull on the strands just a little bit. This creates solidity. By taking a good look under the surface layer of the hair and pulling out on the inner side of the hair, the strands from the top area to this division point will stand. Just like right here. We are able to create emphasis with these loops. We can adjust the size of these loops to arrange the hair neatly. Now that we've created the texture for your hair, we're going to remove the duck bill clip that's holding down the divided hair at the bottom and divide this area into three equal parts. The division will be done from the center and we'll collect the hair until the nape on the left side and on the right side, and at the center. We'll divide the hair into these three parts. As for this bundle that we tied earlier on, we'll take it along with this bundle right here, that's barely along the nape, hold them together, and clip the remaining hair at the center just like this. For this bundle, we'll hold it down at the lowest part near the roots. Then tie it together with an elastic band. This is how it should look. And at this state, split the bundle into two and pull it separately toward the left and right sides while placing the bundle close to the scalp. Then, if you take a look here, the bundle that you tied should be closely attached to the scalp, like this. Next, I'd like to move on to rolling up the center part. 
For this style, please prepare hair padding of about this size. Firstly, tie up the ends with an elastic band. Once this is done, wrap up the ends around the hair padding. Do it like this so that the hair bundle doesn't move away from the scalp. Do this by pulling downwards while rolling up. This is what it looks like. For this part, use a large U-pin to hold down the hair from the side and pin it to the elastic area of the center. Next, we'll use bobby pins to pin into the U-pins to provide a little extra support. In the same way, for the bundles on the side and the side area, We'll use a U-pin to hold down the hair pads and aim the pin in an area where the elastic pressure is strong and pin it up like this. Now, right here, my fingertips are touching the U-pin. But keep holding this area and hold it together firmly with a bobby pin to stabilize the base. It should look like this. Once you're done up to here, Hold down the bundle and pull on it to provide a texture giving it a soft and random feel. Next, we'll move on to finishing the left bundle. When arranging the left bundle, for this side, take a bundle of hair that falls right on the edge of the center line. Take about this much and pull in the direction of the ear so that it stays close to the skin. Carry it over and tie it with a rubber band. Once you've finished tying it, like this, take a strand of hair closest to your scalp from the bundle of hair, hold it close to your scalp and pull it taut frontwards. In this state, Hold the remaining bundle and push the elastic upwards. This way, the elastic sticks close to the scalp. It's the same as before, but by having the elastic close inwards, it helps create the base. It also helps us stick the pins and hold the padding in place. So, we'll do the same for this bundle as well and arrange it in the same way. We'll prepare a hair pad that is thinner than the one that we used in the center and see what angle you want to use to think about what kind of hairstyle you want to arrange. The image that you might want to have is to arrange it behind the ear and fit it parallel along the hairline. I think that this is the best way. So, in order to fit it diagonally, you need to pull it slightly downwards and position the bundle so that it doesn't stay away from the scalp. Basically, don't pull it backwards. By pulling it forwards and rolling it up, it won't stay away from the skin, and you'll be able to create a beautiful roll-up. While you roll it up this way, there is a part that connects to the center roll. Pull the hair out a bit so that you approach the center and hide the hair pad like this. In this state, Insert a U-pin from the top and aim for the elastic base that was created earlier. Use bobby pins to fix it in place. Now, pull on this bundle of hair to match the atmosphere of the center part. Once you've fixed the hair to some extent, stabilize the connecting point to the center part using bobby pins. Do this without pulling apart the silhouette. Then, finish the remaining other side in the same way.
Here's how it looks now. The roll-up is the part connected to the sides here. This part tends to stick out a little bit. But for this style's method, you can hold down the hair pad that is sticking out, pushing it inwards so that you can use bobby pins at this perfect point. If you push this hair pad towards the center area where the elastic base is, you can adjust the silhouette of the style. Follow the same procedure on this side as well. Push the hair pad inwards, hold it in place, and place the bobby pins where your fingers are. Aim towards the center where the elastic is and stick them in. Now, let's arrange the remaining side parts. The role of the side part for this style is to deliberately match the smooth surface of the base area from the center part. Furthermore, in between this center part and this roll-up part, a valley gap is created, so the side part is used to fill up that gap, just like this. Twist it towards the center. If you place this under the hair ends of the rope braid made at the beginning, it balances out the style. Now use a U-pin to roughly fixate the area around the elastic center and use bobby pins for the tip of the hair at the connection point, the roll-ups and the border of the base at the top to keep everything in place. Pull on the hair bundle and spray it. If you end up having hair like this and still have remainders after stabilizing, wrap it around your fingers and fixate them in the valley area while keeping it in its loose shape. By doing so, when you braid in the hair on the other side, it gets hidden automatically, so you would be able to finish styling pretty fast. Now, on this side, in the same way, Divide the hair evenly into two bundles, continue twisting them towards the back, pull on the hair to balance the bundle, and place them below at the valley area to secure it in place. To deal with pieces like this that stick out at the end, use an arranged stick just like this without getting in the way of the roll-ups. Just like this. Don't get in the way of your rolled-up bundles. Tug and fixate the hair ends with pins. Once you finish putting in the loose parts, adjust the volume and solidity of the style overall to complete it. This is how the rolled up hairstyle turns out. If you try using accessories around the nape area, it turns out this way. And I think that a nice atmosphere comes out this way. How do you like it? For this style, I deliberately used less time creating the base area and kept it simple. But you can arrange it to your preference by using curls and wave curls at the center of the base. You can also try doing complicated braids on the sides to make it pretty. Please try doing these for your own challenge. I've been Tanaka from Hair and Make Zen, and I'll see you in the next video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.